Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Before we get to the current weather, there's a look at the temperature trace uh, yesterday at my house in Helena. Uh, we stayed up in the mid-70s for much of the early afternoon, but just a little after 2 p.m., the temperature dropped as the front moved through. We went from about 77 all the way down to 45 around 6 p.m., so in about four hours, the temperature dropped 30 degrees, so quite a change. There's a look at the SkyCam network early this morning from uh, the Birmingham SkyCam as we look out over a cloudy sky with some low visibilities. Doesn't look quite uh, as uh, low a visibility at Fayette as we see a lovely shot of the courthouse over there. The weather pattern has been tapping into Pacific moisture and you can see that flow on the water vapor imagery coming out of the Pacific across northern Mexico and Texas across the southeastern U.S. as we have a fairly strong trough off to the west of us and a kind of a ridge pumping up along the east coast and into the Atlantic and that pattern is going to be staying with us so we're going to stay cloudy for much of the upcoming week although it looks like by the latter part of the week we could see some sun. The front has moved through the area and is uh, located down in North Florida and stretching down into the Gulf of Mexico, but it's likely to come back north. In the meantime, yesterday, this is what the temperatures look like across the north central part of the United States as the front was making its way through the southeastern U.S. But this morning, wow, look at that change. Freezing temperatures all the way down into North Alabama. And indeed, we see that a lot of readings across North and Central Alabama in the 30s this morning as we're in the lower and mid-30s for the most part. Still in the 40s and a few spots in the lower 50s in Southeast Alabama. Uh, actually, it looks like there's a 71 down at Tallahassee, so they're still in the warm air. Radar is uh, much clearer this morning than it was yesterday, and much of the winter precipitation is over, although there's some residual uh, uh, weather advisories in effect uh, and still some uh, weather advisories in effect for the Appalachians. But in the meantime, the next storm system is causing some havoc for the southern Rockies. Precipitation-wise, we're going to stay in a wet pattern, and there's a look at the QPF for the next uh, five days, and it looks like uh, today we get a little bit of a break. Yes, there'll be some passing patches of some light rain or drizzle, but uh, otherwise, uh, with the clouds around, you know, you can just always expect that. But it looks like we could have on the order of two to three inches over the next uh, five days. No organized severe storms are forecast. Uh, SPC outlooking the possibility of some thunder uh, over the area from Middle Tennessee down into northern Mississippi. All right, let's take a look at the 06E GFS model run, and here comes the surface high, and that is pushing much of the moisture and uh, rain possibilities a little further to the south. But again, with the clouds, you can't rule out the possibility of some passing light rain or drizzle for uh, the day today. So if you're headed out for parades, like the Helena Parade around 1 o'clock today, be sure to uh, bundle up for that, especially for the cold, and also to... Uh, keep in mind that, you know, there might be some little bit of liquid. But I think for the most part, we stay dry with very little measurable precipitation. By Sunday, uh, the precipitation is back at us in full force as the front comes back to the north. And you can see on the upper air pattern for Sunday that we're dealing primarily with this southwesterly flow pattern, tapping into that abundant moisture in the Pacific. That trough that is to our west uh, stays to our west on Monday as uh, the, much of the energy stays well to our north, and that so some of the, the trough, troughiness hanging back over the southern Rockies, and that, that just keeps us in a wet pattern. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much in the way of winter precipitation over the Ohio River Valley, but there could be a little bit. We don't really see much change to the trough as, as the thing is very slow. The southern part of the trough is very slow to move through on uh, Wednesday, so we stay, uh, pardon me, Tuesday, so we stay wet on Tuesday as well. Finally, it looks like while a little piece of it holds back, it looks like the trough uh, comes through and we get a little piece of that coming through. You can see over Virginia uh, and the whole troughiness is, is inched a little further to the east uh, by Wednesday. And so that means that we should see the moisture 
begin to decrease, and we might even see a little bit of sun by Wednesday afternoon. Uh, another trough, uh, another nice shot of energy comes through the flow on Friday, and uh, that will help to uh, set up the next weather system as moisture begins to return to our west. And you can see the surface high over uh, eastern Virginia, over the uh, Outer Banks area, and that is pumping moisture back into Texas and Oklahoma, and that is setting the stage for the possibility of another winter weather event for next weekend for the central part of the United States as we see a fairly uh, nice uh, storm system develop. Going out into voodoo country, uh, the whole pattern flattens out around the 18th and so you know don't see you know just a whole lot of weather systems there so we get a little a little break in the action but it looks like mother nature is planning some mischief for the christmas travel this is the 22nd of december and indeed we see another strong trough and that trough could see the development of another winter weather event for this southern plains and central plains areas so uh Going to keep things rather busy and active as we head into the Christmas week period for people that do weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Saturday. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.